According to a new USA Today Gallup poll, 55% of Americans blame the Tucson shootings on failures in the mental health system. Critics say those failings extend to America's jails, where a recent study found up to one-fifth of inmates suffering some form of mental illness. And that's tonight's Weekend Journal. The Ohio sheriff who's fighting the image of jail as a dumping ground for the mentally ill. Through anyone to the military I need. Okay. Dennis Bindell is an inmate at the Summit County Jail in Akron, Ohio. This is as close to Menage or Trois as you could get. We have Arrested for public times. indecency. False arrest. I am a male stripper. Diagnosed with mania. Thank you. Bindell has a hard time controlling his thoughts. I think I edit that, right? <laughs> He is housed in the jail's mental health pod. 12 cells on the upper tier, 12 on the lower. With one cell reserved for out of control inmates. This cell here is set up for uh, four point restraints. Chief Gary uh, James, cell, who runs uh, the jail, says nearly one in five inmates has mental health issues. And, and most of them are taking psychotropic medication. Medication is dispensed twice a day. A lot of Depakote, which is a mood stabilizer. And one part-time psychologist is available for counseling. Ricky, how are you? Dr. James Orlando believes mentally ill inmates would be better off in a hospital. The medication is the same medication here as it is in a psychiatric hospital. Our, our counselors here are just as good, but the environment here is not therapeutic. This is what we'd bring them. When Summit County Sheriff Back Drew Alexander was a police officer in Akron in the 1970s, he would take someone acting deranged to Falls View, the state mental hospital. In my day uh, on the streets, this was automatic. Falls but View Falls View up. is now Falls Village, an office park. The hospital closed as part of the deinstitutionalization movement that began in the 1960s. Akron has more mental health facilities per person than most cities, with 350 hospital beds. But across the country, the number of psychiatric hospital beds has shrunk by nearly 90 percent, from one bed for every 300 Americans in the 1950s to one bed for every 3,000 today. Sheriff Alexander believes his jail has become a dumping ground for the mentally ill who have no place else to go. It's almost like putting them in a dungeon and chaining them to the wall. You know, the only thing different is we try to feed them. Right. Summit so County Jail inmate Shatori Beasley hears voices. She thinks Demon of demons. You growling at you all the time. She is accused of a violent crime, stabbing someone. I've seen a demon. I, has, I stabbed it in the chest. Now 38, medical records show Beasley has been treated since she was 12. She spends most of her days under the covers in her cell. I know I need help. Everybody keeps talking about you can get help. Where would you go to get, where to get it at? Dr. Orlando says her case uh, illustrates why incarceration can aggravate mental illness. Sort of imagine what it's got to be like being mentally ill and being in that position where you're trapped, literally trapped, in a small cell with your own demons. Certainly, there's no way you're going to get better under those circumstances. Since our visit, the first inmate we saw, Dennis, was committed to a hospital after 63 days in jail. The second inmate, Chitori, was sentenced to 18 months in prison after pleading guilty to that stabbing. And still ahead on tonight's CBS Evening News, why so many members of Congress are sleeping at the office.